Hi, I will try to make a new dessert from stale cookies today. I watched a few videos about it, but then I found another idea. I will make magnolia from them, and I will use them instead of biscuits. We can also say layered pudding dessert about it. You can use your blender or food processor to make cookies crumbs. Or place the cookies in a plastic bag and hit them with a rolling pin until they are crushed. Cause somehow my blender is broken. Something annoying. Try with less cookies, I did it this way. And yes, successful. These cookies are plain but I added cocoa powder because this pudding is white and cocoa will look nice between two pudding layers. As well as delicious. Now, let's go next step. Ingredients 5 cups of milk, 2 tablespoons of flour, 2 tablespoons of corn or wheat starch, 1 cup of sugar and vanilla. The amount of sugar depends on you because I always add less than the recipe. I don't use sugar with tea or coffee. If you like, you can also use brown sugar. In a saucepan, Whisk together the sugar, flour, milk, starch and vanilla until a smooth forms. You know, nobody wants lumps. Ok, let's cook. Bring the mixture to boil over medium heat, string frequently. This constantly while it comes to a boil. Within a minute, after boiling, remove from heat. Do not more boil. Allow mixture to cool completely. String occasionally to avoid a skin forming on the pudding. Because we never want a dry layer on the pudding. Or place a plastic wrap directly on the surface of the pudding while it cools. If the pudding is thicker than expected, add milk and mix. No problem. You can also use instant pudding if you want. After cooling, add one layer of pudding, one layer of cookies mixture to a bowl. And that way continue until the ingredients run out. If you want, you can add a fruit, for example, banana, strawberry. I think it may be nice. Today my proof is cocoa and chocolate. Sprinkle chocolate chips over last layer and let it rest in the fridge. So it looks nice. Search you. Keep in mind that this recipe needs to sit at least for hours but overnight is definitely best. This recipe is best served the day after making. I ate it and it was really better than I, I expected. You should try. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope see you guys in my next video. Bye!